Okay, O2 people, please make sure before you watch this video to watch the previous videos in order because I talked about gas trapping uh, in two videos. Please watch those before you come here. But this is a ventilator and it's an inspiratory limb and expiratory limb as we explained before on my previous videos. This is an ET tube and this is an alveolus and this is an alveolus at the beginning of inspiration and at the end of expiration let's just get here so now let's say we're going to initiate inspiration so the ventilator apply positive pressure let's say of well plus 20 centimeter hto and the peep was set for this ventilator at plus five so normally now the alveolus at the beginning of inspiration pressure the alveolar pressure equal to peep now because this gradient the air will start flowing in until and the alveolar pressure will start increasing until it become 20 centimeter hto equivalent to this one then the flow will cease because the pressure gradient disappear the next thing the inspiration will terminate which means the ventilator will switch off this extra pressure and will keep only the peep so this will become plus 5 and now this is at 20 so the flow will be reversed and that's normally should continue until this goes back to the plus 5 the peep level but we gave we said for a reason or another the expiration terminated before this went to 5 let's say 1 to 10 and then the ventilator decided to give another breath so applied another positive pressure now this went back to 20. now you could guess that the airflow now will be reversed the airflow out will cease and the air will start flowing in and the alveolar pressure now is at 10. it's the peep the plus five plus whatever air left in pressure so now it's at 10. it's not equivalent to peep anymore okay let's apply this here so normally this is the residual of the whatever left in the alve alveoli at the end of normal expiration then tidal volume delivered it will go from a to b normal now if this example happened where the alveolar pressure not allowed to go back to the, to the applied peep whatever it is then the air flow out will cease prematurely and this will become like this let's see that means the alveolar pressure is the peep plus whatever pressure this excess air create this excess air whatever ex ex excess air left in in the alveoli pressure on top of this we give it a name called intrinsic peep or o2 peep that's simply what auto peep is and um it's basically happened because of expiration prematurely terminated for a reason or another led to an excess amount of air not being deflated or flown out on top of the residual volume that excess amount of air created an extra pressure did not allow the alveolar pressure to go back to to the normal applied peep or external peep or extrinsic peep applied by the ventilator led to an excess amount of pressure on top of this we call it intrinsic peep compared to extrinsic the one from the ventilator or auto peep